Philippines, Malaysia, Myanmar, South Africa, Bangladesh, Nepal. Do these pictures ring a bell? Poor waste management has been one of the most pressing global challenges that we face today, affecting all of us whether we like it or not. And this waste includes industrial, biological, organic, household, and medical waste. To make things worse, the COVID-19 pandemic has negatively impacted all efforts to improve waste management by contributing to the buildup of biomedical waste and delaying the progress in achieving the SDGs. SDGs on good health and well-being, SDG on clean water and sanitation, SDGs on life on land and below water, and SDG on sustainable cities and communities among others. This calls for an urgent multi-sectoral collaboration to find innovative ways and context-appropriate interventions to tackle the growing burden of poor waste management in the developing world. Our team's vision? A world that is united in reducing global waste through good and efficient management. All hands on deck, all people working together, coming from different backgrounds, race, religion, etc., and working together to mitigate the impact of poor waste management so that we can ensure a healthier and better world for the generations to come. We may think global, but we act local. Here are some of the real-life innovations for efficient waste management. Yeah, so as you may know, CO2 and methane are two main waste gases from industry activities and the degradation of organic materials which is considered to have close association with the extreme weather events that happened frequently in recent years. Fortunately, by using biochar and other capture technology, as some of our teammates are doing now, CO2 can be removed from the air. So far, scientists have successfully removed CO2 of more than 2 billion tons each year. Then by using some cost-effective catalysis technology, also as some of our teammates are doing now, this waste gas can be converted into energy-rich compounds such as methanol, ethanol, and others. So for C1 carbon source, as I'm doing now, it can be used by microbial cell factories to further improve its commodity value. For example, the methotrophic yeast PK factory has been used to um, methanol as a single energy source to produce dozens of chemicals and they can be important ingredients for cosmetics, food additives, pharmaceuticals and clean foods. So as a result, all of us can share the benefits from this innovative carbon mutual fermentation system without increasing the burden on our world. The cost, excellency, and availability of raw material are principal importance. On average, 70% of men and some villagers, women, consume beetle in Myanmar and other South Asian countries. One small portion, that is sea, is consumed, and the large part that containing host-like material remains as waste material. So the purpose of innovation is to convert this, <coughs> uh, this material into friendly material and to protect environment from pollution and to make it cost effective and to minimize all adverse effects. So from our innovation, we can convert these waste products into useful and valuable products. These waste can be used especially in the production of aerospace, automobiles, sports equipment, construction and packaging industry. Moreover, these waste can be used to 
produced by medical substances like sterilization wear, scrub suits, surgical grounds, and drippers. Thank you. Join us in creating a clean world. Let's make our waste into wealth. 